I'm almost done editing this video now and I've decided I no longer grocery shop, I grocery hunt. Kim here, homeschooling mom to four and chaos coordinator since 2009. Gonna do it. We're gonna do a pantry challenge. Got back from vacation and oddly enough have a lot of food. My usual budget is $1,000 and I usually go a little over. I'm very, very tight. It's very tight. This month I looked and even with our surplus, because we do have a little bit of um, food stored up, I think we can make it through February. We'll see here. I think we can do $450. Possibly I might have to squeak it up to $500. And I'm hopeful. I just finished up at uh, Aldi and I wanted to stay under $100. And I did. I'm super excited. I'll show you what I got when I get home. I'm at Walmart right now. Also, just a quick shelving update. I mean, there are things in stock, but I guess empty, completely empty shelves is just a regular thing now. It doesn't seem to matter what time I go shopping, when in the month. Uh, this is just very typical nowadays. Just got home from Waldy and from Waldy, <laughs> from Aldi and Walmart. I am so excited. I think uh, we're actually going to make it this month under budget on our pantry challenge. So this is what I got to get us through the whole month for our family of six. This is Aldi. Okay, tomatoes. This is a staple here. I love tomatoes and all my salads. All the onions, yellow, red, white, and green. This I'll put into a little cup and grow it so it lasts the whole month and more. Putting these in the fridge gets them to last the whole month. Here I have the buns that we're going to use for making burgers one night. I need to learn to make my own recipe because these are just way too expensive. Uh, orange juice. Thank goodness they had some in. We don't typically drink orange juice. It's one a week. They drink it for their vitamins. They get just a little bit of cup in the morning and they don't like to take their vitamins, but this is the incentive for taking their vitamins. Heavy whipping cream uh, for various recipes. They used to have the little ones and those were the most cost effective and they just stopped carrying them. Almond milk for my coffee. We're gonna do some fajitas. And I know this is not for fajitas. My older two kind of like the crunch. So we're gonna, that was a little treat, it's real cheap. This was also a little treat. I know it's a pantry challenge, but I couldn't help myself because they were, like $1.80 each. Look, it's unsweetened strawberry banana. So it's unsweetened and flavored. My kids love flavored applesauce. Yes, I know I can do my own. It's been a nice little treat for a couple days. I have a surprise meal I'm gonna do for my husband with this. Um, don't know why I haven't done it before, so I'm pretty excited about those. It was chicken pot pie. My husband talks about that was his favorite food going up, and now that he can't have corn and peas because of his dietary restrictions, link below to that video, he never gets to have pot pie. And it just, my mind was blown when it occurred to me one day that I could make chicken pot pie without peas and corn. And I did, and he loved it. <laughs> it was amazing. Thank you, Sarah, for the recipe. I did not know Oldie had fire roasted diced tomatoes. They have not had any at Walmart for months. And here I found three and they were super cheap. So thank you, Oldie, for that. Got some mild salsa for a couple recipes that call for uh, tomatoes and all these things blended up with peppers and I just throw the salsa in instead. Lots of kefir. I have a video about kefir and why we drink it and why it's so yummy. And I get uh, just a few for the kids. It's a nice little treat. They can have this or milk in the mornings. And then my husband, he gets one a week. He notices a difference when he drinks that. So he has four of those for him. We really like cottage cheese. So I got 12 of these. Um, we go about two or three a week for breakfast for my son and I, and sometimes our oldest as well. We had a lot of cheese in storage. So this is just um, a few that we needed. We needed mostly provolone and we always run out of Colby Jack at some point. Uh, my tissues, we tend to blow through them. Ha ha ha. And I am very particular, like my ultra soft. And a couple taco seasonings, low sodium because my body likes to soak that up and make me all puffy. So low sodium for a couple recipes this month. Pepperoni for a couple pizzas. Beef kielbasa for a couple recipes we do too. So that is our Aldi haul. This total was 99 something, I don't know, I'll put it right here. Here is the Walmart haul. It was going so well until I got to the pharmacy and personal care item section. I forgot about that on my list. We always do enchiladas and this is the kind of sauce my husband likes, the green chili stuff. These things, I wish Costco brought theirs back. They had one that was about $20 and it lasted our family for three months and this is getting way too expensive. The health benefits are huge, but it's getting kind of ridiculous. Um, how much those cost. This is for a child that we have that has lots of seasonal allergies. I did stock up on whole grain pasta because this is not always in stock and it's really cheap. It's only a dollar a box at Walmart unless you get this brand. 
um, but that's okay. So I compensated. This is all they had though, was penne and spaghetti and linguine. And so this is what we're gonna use for this month. I got three penne. I got four spaghetti and four linguine of the whole wheat and then uh, lasagna as well. We don't celebrate our son's birthday. We celebrate his baptism. I'll put a video down below what we do. And so we are doing that on February 2nd, Groundhog Day. And his godmother is making a cake. And these are the ice creams. And I like the cups. It's more expensive, but kids actually eat less and there's more variety for everybody. We have so much long hair in this house. We go through a lot of conditioner. I already had some and that's a backup of a backup. 10 avocados. They had none at Aldi. Aldi was, there wasn't even a sign for it. A Mrs. Dash, I was out of this. This is what I use um, in my Renzas. I'll put a recipe down below what a Renza is. Amish egg noodles. I used to make my own and these actually taste just like mine. So I think my time is worth $3.50. This is for when I make yogurt. One of these um, I put into a gallon of milk and I make about a gallon of yogurt a week. I have one in the fridge and I already made yogurt this week so we should be good for the month got some shredded hash browns our girls have discovered hash browns and this thing is amazing for making hash browns all right and then these two are one dollar loaves and i could make these these are not worth my time to make although i'm sure i could make them healthier i'll link a recipe down below of what i use these for and there's another one that i've discovered that's really good too and last but not least some cat treats we are training the cats to come whenever we open the door we want them to be within earshot so we open it up and we give them a treat and then they do they stay within earshot now which is really good they went to kitty jail a while back they're not fixed yet off to costco i go i'm hoping to stay under 200 jeremy just told me he needed deodorant i think i can make it under 200 so yeah. so far i'm at like 210 i think i only have one more store to go um there'll be a couple other random item places to go i'm trying to stay under 500 <laughs> costco haul with john was pretty good i stayed under budget but they were out of three things so i have to go back to walmart it's usually why i do walmart third it is what it is all right this is jeremy's indulgence meatballs this price per pound it's just it's literally cheaper to just buy it this way and they're so good and so easy this makes at least three meals for our family this is our monthly splurge uh eight dollars i almost didn't get it but i was doing so good and the kids they really do enjoy these they do this with some kefir or milk in the mornings coconut oil this is what i make our bread out of right now so i'm going through it quite a bit the chicken breasts, pack of these for the family. Uh, we had some in frozen already, so I'm just gonna stick with these. Uh, they finally had our cheese back. They were out of it last month, so excited. We go through this quite a bit, just flavoring different things when I don't have enough bone broth. Four gallons of milk. We already had three in the freezer, so seven for the month should be good for yogurt and consumption. Potatoes, lots of potato recipes. Butter, we always go through lots of butter. These were on sale, these are our favorites. It's the Snacking Gala apples. This is a Trim Healthy Mama thing I realized I could have. It um, is high carb and low fat, and they're so good with whipped cream. Delicious breakfast. Here's the ibuprofen and the allergen. These are each $10. It's amazing how cheap. This is a full year's worth of Claritin for 10, 10 bucks. So it really, Costco, there's, some of their stuff is amazing. This is for baking and snacking on with the kids. This is for Samantha and I mostly. We love these things and all of our meals. I realized I have not bought mushrooms in years because Samantha hates them and she's taught her siblings to hate them. But I realized ah, I eat salads. I can put them in my salads. So I got some delicious mushrooms to put in my salads. Cucumbers. We eat these real quick because they go bad really quick. They're so good. We slice them up. Brussels sprouts. These will actually last till the end of the month. I forget when I'm using them, but they last almost a whole month in the fridge. My keto bread. This is what I do my sandwiches and such on. Each of these is a salad for me. I might go back in the middle of the month and get some. The official total... It's 220 something, but I'll put it right here. If I didn't include the pharmaceutical type thing, like ibuprofen and allergy medicine, it would be way under budget. But they were out of whole chickens, celery, and deodorant for Jeremy. So back to the store I go, but a different day. I made the final run to the grocery store. I ended up going to slightly more expensive one i may have been able to save maybe five dollars going somewhere else but in going gas and time just decided to go here this is what i got to wrap us up and hopefully get us through the rest of the month so hy-vee is a local store where you kind of pay for the service and it's usually a really awesome service got cream cheese two whole chickens celery this is my uh sweetener quite pricey so i go through about one a month uh, Jeremy needed some deodorant, and I'm very picky about the smells on that. And then here is the Hybee brand whole wheat pasta. They had whole grain elbows, which I much prefer when I make mac and cheese. I stocked up a little bit on those. Put the total here, and the grand total of everything here. We have about $20 to get us to the end of the month. We will see if we can make it. Remember, it is okay to make mistakes. The important part is to learn from them. God bless.